Hi everybody, my name is Chelsea from HGTV.com and today we are talking about the hot house plant of the moment, the fiddle leaf fig. Or as we like to call it, the fickle leaf fig. Fiddle leaf figs, also known as Ficus lyrata, say that three times fast, is native to Western Africa, which is a lowland tropical rainforest. It's a banyan plant, which means it starts its life at the top of another tree, and then it shoots its roots down towards the soil, where it eventually strangles the host tree to death. Fun! All right, so the plant stork has just brought your brand new plant baby home. But here are a few things you need to do before you bring it inside. Fiddle leaf figs love bright, indirect light. So find a spot where it can get a lot of sunlight, but the sun isn't directly touching the leaves. Long story short, fiddles just don't want to be around cold air and most likely will die if it gets a lot of draft during the day. So make sure you find it a spot that is not near an exterior door, near a drafty window, or most commonly forgotten, near an air vent. Once a fiddle finds its happy spot, it gets very disgruntled if you move it. And so to ensure that your fiddle has the longest, happiest life, just leave it be. Once a week when you water your plant, turn the pot a quarter so that each side of the plant receives equal sunlight and it won't start to lean towards the light source. All right, next, clean it up. You might have noticed when you got your plant home that it's covered in water spots and dust. And the easiest way to get rid of this is to use a damp washcloth and just gently wipe down the leaves. And you'll also wanna do this about once or twice a month when you notice dust starting to collect. But if your house is on the drier side, mist your plant about once a week. And finally, no need to repot just yet. Fiddle leaf figs are pretty happy as root bound plants and will thrive in the pot you bought it in. So instead of repotting it in your new fancy pot, just buy a basket or something a little bit bigger and just sit the plant right down in it. The number one way to kill your fiddle leaf fig is to overwater it or not allow for proper drainage. So you wanna water your fiddle about every seven to 10 days. They're native to a rainforest, which means that they're used to getting a deluge of water with dry spells in between. So the easiest way to recreate this at home is to either take the plant outside or to the bathtub, completely saturate the soil, and then let it drip dry for about an hour or so before you put it back in its spot. So if you're feeling a bit lazy or your plant's too big to move, here's a quick hack. Take a plastic drip tray and place it on the ground below your plant. And then, using a plant stand, place it over the drip tray and then just have your plant live on top of this plant stand. So that way, every time you water it, the water will drip into the tray and you won't have to move your plant. Okay, so how do you know it's time to water again? It's easy. Just stick your finger down into the soil about two inches and if it feels wet, don't water it. If it's dry, do. If you don't trust yourself, you can always use a moisture meter. So one thing you might be forgetting to do is feed your plant. And the easiest way to do this is with a fertilizer that is a three to one to two ratio of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, or NPK for short. It's easily found in a pre-made bottle for less than 10 bucks online. Just mix the fertilizer into your watering can about once a month during the spring and the summer. No need to feed in the winter when the plant's dormant. So you might be wondering when and how to repot your fiddly fig. It's really not as scary as it sounds. About every one to two years, or when the plant starts to get too big for the pot, or you notice that the roots are growing through the drainage holes on the bottom, that's when you want to repot. So you want to choose a pot with a drainage hole that's about two inches wider than the original pot. Add about two to three inches of stones to the bottom of the new pot. Choose a well-draining potting soil and add that to the new pot and then push it to the edges of that pot. Then remove the root ball from the old pot, loosen the roots, and plant it. Then top with more soil. And that's it. So this is what it looks like when you overwater a fiddle leaf fig. The leaves start to develop these Dalmatian-like brown spots and then they eventually just fall off. So the reason for this is because you aren't allowing enough time in between waterings for the soil to dry out. So what's happening is pathogens are forming in the wet soil and causing root rot. Root rot will not only kill your plant, but if you're not careful, it'll kill every other plant in your house. It killed all three of my orchids. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> is your fiddle leaf fig on its overwatered last leg 
here's how to rehabilitate it. Step one, remove any sickly looking leaves. Step two, lay your plant on its side and remove the plastic pot. Assess the root damage and then start to remove any rotted sections by cutting it out with sharp pruning shears. After you've done that, remove as much of the old soil as possible, then repot it. Once it's repotted, water with root rot formula, then fertilize as normal. Then cross your fingers and hope for the best. One of the most asked questions that we get here at HGTV.com is whether or not a fiddle is safe for your pets or your children. Now just being around this plant isn't going to harm them, but if your furry or non-furry kid happens to ingest a leaf or two, it might cause them a mild intestinal discomfort. But I would call the vet or the doctor just to be safe. I hope you learned a few tips today to keep your fiddle leaf fig happy or at least alive. If you have any fiddle leaf hacks, please drop them in the comments below. Shoot us a like and a subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.